Hello. In this presentation, we will cover Hubble's law, its limitations, and our proposed solution to make it applicable for an accelerating universe. Hubble's law was originally derived from data showing that the universe is uniformly expanding, as can be seen by the graph on the left. However, we now have new data that deviates from this law. As such, we need to rethink Hubble's law and its applications in cosmology. In 1998, scientists reported that the receding velocities of high redshift Z galaxies violate Hubble's law. Using our proposed adjustments, we can explain this phenomenon. Please see the graph on the left for a comparison of the original Hubble's law and our extended Hubble's law. The commonly accepted explanation of this deviation is that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. Most recently, scientists reported that this acceleration may even be accelerating. In other terms, it is a jerking universe. This unconfirmed observation makes the situation more severe. And after reviewing this discovery, we argue that the observed deviation indicates Hubble's law is no longer sufficient to describe our universe. Therefore, we need an extended Hubble's law. First, consider the basic principle. To describe an accelerating system, physics laws must contain con acceleration terms for accuracy and completeness. We postulate that the expansion of the universe obeys classical kinematics and therefore Hubble's law must be outfitted with acceleration terms. Hubble's law in the form of equation one, velocity equals Hubble constant times distance is conceptually difficult to understand in terms of acceleration. We therefore propose to rewrite Hubble's law as equation two, distance equals one divided by Hubble constant times velocity. Now that we have isolated distance to one side, we can compare this new equation to the classical equation of motion of an accelerating object, represented by equation three. Equations two and three give us the foundation on which to extend Hubble's law. Thus, we can extend Hubble's law as follows. Notice that this new equation has the same form as equation three, and when ignoring the acceleration term a, this new equation reduces to the original Hubble's law. The extended Hubble's law can also be rewritten in the form of the original Hubble's law. And as an example, we can now apply this extended law to recalculate the age of the accelerating universe. And it turns out that the universe is actually older than that based on the original Hubble's law. If you are interested in further discussion, please contact me at davidpeng949 at hotmail.com. Thank you for listening and I hope to hear from you soon.